What are the core beliefs of Islam? Yeah, I, I think fundamental values that we find in our tradition, uh, they all kind of revolve around elements of social equity, uh, where there's just an understanding that you have a baseline compassion for human beings in general. And even within our ritualistic practices, we find that there's just elements and ideas of not really defining a person by their skin color, by their cultural or ethnic background, uh, but more so looking at what is inherently good within them. So very valuable kind of characteristics of our tradition uh, are things such as patience, things such as mercy and compassion. Uh, a fundamental concept is called ihsan, uh, which essentially means excellence. But when it's defined in our tradition, it says that you live your life in such a way as if uh, you could see God, because you understand that although you cannot see Him, you know that He can see you. And underlying that idea is that you won't ever violate the rights that somebody has over you, because in no place or any time uh, would you be able to really move from the eyes of the divine. And, and how does the difference, say, differ from Christianity and Judaism in terms of the core tenets of its philosophy? I mean, essentially, Islam builds off of the traditions of, uh, you know, the Judeo-Christian tradition. Uh, we recognize Adam as our first prophet, and we recognize that there's about 120,000 individuals that have been sent as messengers to this world. Amongst them, uh, we recognize and dignify Moses, we recognize Abraham, we recognize David and Solomon, uh, as well as Jesus, peace be upon all of them. Are there some teachings or stories that, say, Christians or Jews could relate to that are part of, of, of Islam? I think definitely. There's, there's a ton of stories that we find in our tradition. Uh, Moses is actually the most mentioned prophet in the Qur'an. Uh, and the story of Abraham lays down the foundation uh, for kind of symbolizing for a Muslim what the relationship should, with God should be. So do you believe in the Ten Commandments, for example? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, is the, that part of Islam? What we understand from previous scripture is that where it's not contrary to our own scripture, uh, you know, we would not reject it, uh, but we wouldn't derive law from it. And I think we find fundamental value uh, within many of the teachings that exist not only in Judaism and in Christianity, but I think faiths and communities around the world.